I have a bleeding lip and um, well, some blood stains on my body, but we were fine. Unfortunately, um, some of our equipment damaged, our tripods damaged. Um, let me have the other part there. And then, well, I say we are even lucky. Uh, we're luckier than some other journalist from NTA who was being brutalized. Um, Demola camera operator had to run into one of the toilets with another um, engineer from TVC. Uh, and then uh, somebody from, I think, Arise had his laptop broken. His laptop was, was smashed on somebody else's head, as a matter of fact. But thankfully, we are safe, we are good, and uh, most importantly, we are alive. Wow. Bernard, uh, uh, you're without your shirt, um, I guess, because of the blood stains. Tell us exactly what happened that led to uh, these uh, attacks on you. And who were the people who, who attacked you and other journalists? Okay, so, so um, when this collision happened, uh, we informed uh, some of the other colleagues from other stations to please notify us when the collision commences. Uh, so they informed us and we went together to a hotel somewhere in Benin here. Uh, but to our greatest surprise, upon getting in there, it was a very small space. It wasn't even a hall, um, it was the bar of the hotel. Uh, and that actually, you know, made some bells begin to ring in my head. Like, this is very, very um, out of place. I've covered elections several times, and this is not a space that should be used to collect, even if it's local government election results. You know, and then while it was ongoing, um, at some point, we noticed that TVC caught their live broadcast, but we didn't understand what was going on until we got some kind of uh, notice that was circulating. And this came in after about seven or nine uh, local government results had been announced. And then they announced our call for recess, and so we stepped outside. While we were outside, then we noticed more movement, and then uh, entourage of some police officers came in, the commissioner of police with some other police guards came in, and then at some point, um, they told everybody to step out of the hall, and that's when some boys, we don't know who they are, came in their numbers and began to brutalize journalists. Uh, and that's how it all began, you know. Uh, they claimed that some journalists or some people um, collected some amount of money, and that we're announcing fake results. Well, journalists, at least, we didn't know anything about that. Um, we just got information about results and we came you know, to announce and to broadcast, basically. Uh, so I was in the process of looking for my crew uh, that one of them saw me holding a phone and just believed that I was recording. So first thing he did was to hold my shirt and then started throwing punches. So I tried to block my face, but uh, you know, he's a lot bigger than I am and this is the most I, I got on my face. Um, so after we got away from there, I took off my shirt and then went back with the police officer, explained everything. Uh, he picked my call and said I should call me, I'll be safe. So, you know, they, they took the images I had on my phone, I had to transfer them to his phone so that they'd be sure of what I had. And then he returned mine. Okay, who, who, was, the, who was the person who asked you to transfer the images from your phone to his phone? Um, uh, uh, coincidentally, it was the person who did this to me. Oh, asked you to send the images to his phone so that he could be sure you didn't uh, film what was going yeah. on there. All right. Oh, oh, can can yeah. you place and then it? They also wanted to have evidence of who were the people um, that were collecting the results and making the announcements. Do you, do you have any, any indication as to who or where these persons are from? Are they members of the All Progressives Congress? Are they well, thugs? they claim I mean, to be. Uh, they say that uh, what we were doing, that the results that were being announced were announced by a rogue group who were not supposed to announce any results because apparently the process is not over in some other local governments, you know. And truly, it did look rather funny because, uh, like I said, the location that, you know, that the results collision and announcement was, was done in um, was the bar of a hotel, a very tiny space. And that was the first thing I noticed. Uh, you said the police came in to the venue to ask you journalists, you and fellow journalists, to leave. What was the purpose of that? And uh, were the police around when these uh, hoodlums, when they came to throw punches and to beat, uh, you, know, ha you know, harass and brutalize you guys? Um, yeah, the police were there. I think the police came to see. W I, I always believe that these people actually reported to the police, first of all, that something um, that was wrong was to see what was going on by themselves um, and, and then these boys also came you know to affirm whatever information that they had they had received 
Um, unfortunately, they came attacking journalists. I, I don't know what information they got. Some of them claimed that they had journalists collected some money, so they came to lay their grievances on the journalists, and that's why they were beating um, certain journalists up. You know, um, the police were there. The police actually did try to save some people. Some ran to the toilet. The police protected some others, as many as they could. And um, I, I also mentioned earlier that it was a police officer who escorted me to, uh, to where they were um, and helped me to, you know, to regain my phone. Okay. Were any arrests made? Uh, no, no arrests were made to the best of my So, so the police officer took you to... Everybody who was there amongst the journalists just had to get out and get yeah. set. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, where we know the police were there, they escorted you to go beat the guys who attacked the journalists. They got your phone from the person who stole it and they walked away. Bernard, please stay safe. Thank you very kindly for your time. We'll stay with you and uh, I hope to get some more reports, uh, but please stay safe.